Hey guys, Chameleon.com here. Today we're going to be doing a review and a build for the $50 bike rack. That's right, we found a bike rack shipped to your house for 50 bucks. They range from like 45 to 55 depending on which seller you buy it from, but we're going to have the lowest price on eBay and Amazon in the description below for this video. And be sure to check out Chameleon.com because we have a ton, like probably one of our top five categories is bike accessory stuff. We have phone holders for your bike we have like leds and rims we even have full bicycles and we have a couple of little bike racks too but this is the most affordable bike rack that we could find shipped to your door that's actually like one that you can put the tires in there's other ones that have like an extender and then you lay them on top of rubber i really don't like those ones which is why i went with this but a couple things before i get into it so i've seen people complain in the amazon uh, description and pardon the tear because I tore it when I was taking it out of the box um, was that oh there's not proper instructions for this thing dude it's a $50 bike rack and it does have instructions okay a b c d e f g h i if you can't understand that then you probably shouldn't even be driving a car so with that said I'm going to help you guys out before I get into this thing I'm just going to do a magic thing I'm not sure if I'm going to record the whole build but okay just so you guys know G is big, big screws go here, I is medium, okay, medium screws go here, all right, and H is small, little screws go right here, not that hard to understand, and it's pretty self-exclamatory, these are the two posts, that's the main beam for the two-inch receiver, that's the bag of bolts, and then it also has these, um, I thought that was nice, they included little plastic covers for the ends of the, um, of the frame so water isn't really getting in there as much but this is the best bike rack you can find for 50 bucks and through the magic of chameleon check this out i'm going to snap my fingers and it's going to be built ready one two three built just like that no just kidding it really took about mm, i'm going to say 25 30 minutes so it takes about a half hour to build not a big deal and i built it with two wrenches that's all you need you don't need any other tools besides two wrenches and i accomplished it with a 13 millimeter and a 17 millimeter for the big guys and these guys use the same um size washer and they have the same diameter washer and uh nut so really quick before i put this on my car it came with six straps so you can tie them down here here i actually tied these off to the actual thing so it ain't going anywhere no matter what you do two one on each pole and then two on the other ones i didn't i didn't use that tool um and basically that's it everything here is adjustable so you can adjust these to bigger and smaller sized bikes i got them a little bit tight so they're not they're not going as smooth they should go like that when they're really loose but i'm not i'm not going crazy over this these are also adjustable. These move back and forth. I have them both tight, but they both, you can slide them on that crossbar. And that's pretty much it. That is your $50 bike rack. Link in the description below. I highly recommend it. And that's basically it. Chameleon.com is out. Peace. Oh, I forgot to mention the one cork to this thing. So, when you are building it, make sure that these two bars are laying up right flat up in it against each other. Oh, hold on. I had to kill a mosquito. Freaking, it's starting to get dark out here. So these bars are flat. You put the nuts inside of these little square sections and you will notice that the bottom, the bottom itself is also, it's got a little deviation. So deviation on the bottom, flat on the top here deviation on the top flat on the bottom here so flat top flat bottom deviated top deviated bottom just want to let you know that also for here deviated top flat bottom i think hold on or did i get that wrong on that yep flat bottom so that's it i'm out peace 
Hey guys, Chameleon.com here. So I'm just gonna be doing a quick overview of this thing. I just took it on the highway with the bike. Worked really well, didn't move at all. What I do with the straps is I tie them down where it's not moving anywhere and then I tie it off on the end. So it doesn't really bounce around much and there's no wind drag because it's not on the roof, which is nice. So the bike really doesn't move that, that much at all. Always get a locking hitch pin. I suggest getting a master lock one. It comes with a half inch and a five eighths pin that goes in see that's coming out the other side always protect your investment i dig it i think it's well made and then one thing that i'm happy about and i'm going to close off on this note is that i didn't know this when i bought it but i thought it would anyway since these posts are so short they're only maybe like two feet two and a half feet high is that your your uh door will actually close over it so you don't have to worry about um your door hitting it but if you do have your bike on it simultaneously you can't open and close your trunk all the way it maybe opens about halfway and then runs into the bike handle so other than that i really like the bike rack i'll have a link in the description below buy one today if you're on a budget you can get them shipped to you for around 50 bucks maybe maybe 60 or 65 with the locking hitch pin um, but prices vary. I'm just saying that um, in general. Pick one up today. Get yourself out to nature. That's what it's all about, my friends. Chameleon.com is out. Peace.